Hey, what's poppin' y'all, and welcome to another episode of the RML Show. As it is my birth month, I decided to choose a topic that's really interesting for me. Self-care, self-care. I'm treating me right. And that is the field of veterinary medicine. In today's pod, I invited six-year vet student and rising YouTube star Ara Vertusho. With over 180,000 subscribers on YouTube and 153K followers on TikTok, Ara has become the most influential vet student in the Philippines. As a new vet student, I obviously had tons of questions to ask, so I went ham with the cues during our hangout. We discussed why she chose to pursue vet med, student life in UP Los Baños, how she started creating content, and even debunk some common pet myths in the process. This episode is mainly in Taglish, kaya para sa lahat ng mga fluent sa Tagalog, wag mo kong gaguhin kasi English talaga ang first language ko. Wag ako! Don't at me. And for those who don't understand Tagalog, sorry bo, we ain't got no time or budget for subtitles. I hope you all enjoy this episode and learn as much as I did. So without further ado, let's get into the pod with Ara Vertusho. What is poppin' and welcome to the Rocka's Modern Life Show. My name is Rocka, future veterinarian, ex-varsity athlete, and dude who loves to talk about all things hot in PH pop culture. Despite the name, the show ain't about me, but truly about the unique things that my guests bring to the table while also providing some quality kalokohan. So buckle up and let's get rockin'. Sup fam. I just got some really exciting news that I want to share with you all before we start the show. I was just able to partner up with Shopee! As in Chris Kino Shopee? Yer. As in Jose Mero Chan Shopee? You know it. So now whenever you order using my personalized link, you will be supporting a broke sad vet student, which is me. Get all of the hottest deals for the lowest prices on Shopee by clicking on the link in my description or in my bio. And I know when you don't click it. Also, Research World Manila, not a sponsored post. Again, I really appreciate the support. So now, let's get into the episode. What's up, Ara? Why don't you introduce yourself, your profession, and your favorite dog breed? Okay. So, hi, I'm Ara Bertusho and currently a six-year veterinary medical student from UPLB. And ang favorite dog breed ko is actually not yung breed ng mga dogs ko na Shih Tzu, which is <laughs> Corgi. Corgi. <laughs> mahal kasi Corgi. Oh, <laughs> mahal yun, talaga. Cute ng pet nila. Yun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's parang a loaf of bread, no? Na parang nag so, lang. Nagbabounce-bounce. So, yan yung dream dog mo? <laughs> Yeah, dream dog ko, Corgi. Corgi. Yeah, yeah, mahal talaga nila, no? Parang umabot yeah. mga 75 or something like that. Actually, 100k nga eh. Parang 100? mura pa nga 70. Oo. Lalo na yung mga magagandang klaseng, ano, may papers and good yung line yeah. nila. 100k yung iba. Oh Asin. my God. Oh my God! <laughs> Pero, I heard uh, medyo mataray minsan yung mga Corgi. Like, there, I've met like a couple na parang okay, they didn't yeah. want to be friends with me. Sad. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm okay that. with dogs. Pero... So far, parang okay naman sila. Para sa akin. Yeah. Well, baka you have a way with dogs also. Pero, <laughs> Shih Tzus. I also have a Shih Tzu. Cute sila. Ah, okay. Always, always. True. And Med- very, ano, pang house pet lang talaga sila. Mm-hmm. Medyo eng-eng, pero sobrang cute. Malambing. <laughs> True. Diba? <laughs> Bobo. <laughs> diba? Pero, cute. Cute naman. Cute naman. Um, all right, so sa um, mga boys dyan na uh, gusto maligaw kay Ara, Corgi ah, Corgi, <laughs> take note ah. Yung mga gusto, uh, <laughs> kung 100k, kaya mo, G lang, basta Corgi. <laughs> oh, ganda ganda, no? Corgi for you, wow! <laughs> Uy, winner na yun. <laughs> okay, so um, before we start, gusto ko lang sabihin na uh, I'm really a huge fan of your work. And I've, I've told you earlier, in, uh, before we started recording, as in, sobrang nakilig ako nung sabi ka na G ka mag-podcast because I've been watching your stuff for quite some time. And I think it's really great kasi that you're educating people on the basic pet care and at the same time, 
for people like me, yung mga aspiring vets, you're giving us a good uh, deep dive into what it's really like. So, like, one of the reasons why I watch so many of your videos, uh, as I mentioned before, wala akong kilala sa UPLB, as in zero. Mm-hmm. So, ikaw naging parang pseudo-friend ko para sa UPL. Pseudo-ate, <laughs> pseudo <ate, di> ba? Pseudo <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, like, it really helped me um, make my decision on whether vet med was something I could handle because you showed, like, the unglamorized version of what actually vet med students go through. Kasi, di ba, I'm pretty sure you have friends rin na parang, uy, vets, like, what do you do? Play with dogs all day? Yeah. Tal- yeah like, no, it's common misconception po yun. Right? We don't play with dogs all day. We study all day. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. And more often than not, di ba, the dogs hate us pa because we're the ones giving them the medicine. So. Actually, as in, parang mas takot pa nga sila. And then yung iba, mga aggressive pa. Lalo na yung cats. Oh my God, cats. Aggressive cats. cats. Oh my God. <laughs> so, mas hassle yung aggressive cats kasi sa Oh, oh cats. like, define. Iba talaga sila. It can take a whole group na parang surgery group just to handle a single cat. Oh my parang God. apat na kayo, minsan hindi pa kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Ang hirap. Nagwawala lang. <laughs> But yeah, uh, thank you again so much for joining uh, the podcast. It means a lot to me. And uh, let's get into the first question of the show, which is, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? So, kamusta ka na? What, what you been, how you been? What you been doing? Yung mga ganun. Go. I would like to say na thank you, Ren, for appreciating my oh, work. Akala ko kasi nung nag-upload ako about that, med, no one would appreciate it. Kasi sobrang lit lang nung niche. Mm-hmm. Tapos eventually, ano, nag-word ako na parang marami rin palang interested. Kung di man sila interested sa animal, natutuwa sila ko dahil nga sa mga vlogs ko, which is, I keep it real as much mm-hmm. as possible. Kasi ganun naman talaga yung, ano, ang hirap na hindi authentic yung vlogs. But anyway, so question mo. <laughs> um, <laughs> lang um, yung question mo, kamusta? Well, I'm okay. <laughs> internally, internally panicking. Pero kasi, baka siya pa kasi ngayon, kami mga ano, graduating students or vet med students or mm-hmm. UP students UP dahil students. sa March pa yung yung ano, pasokan. Mm-hmm. However, ayun, internally panicking kasi ang dami pang malabo sa mangyayari next sem. Lalo sa amin, yung mga internship, externship. As I said, di ba kanina mm-hmm. nung nag-uusap tayo. And also, what I've been up to, I've been into TikTok lately. Yan. Kasi <laughs> yun ang active ko sa TikTok na yun. Enjoy ko kasi yung bilis ng pwede pag-upload ng video for just mm-hmm. one minute and then pwede ka na maka-share ng amount of information sa tao. And also, favorite, ano to? What are you consuming? Shows or books? Actually, ngayon, may binabasa akong book. Nandito siya sa, sa wow. side table ko. This one. Uy. The subtle yes. art of not giving a fuck. Ah, so, na pwede wh- ba yun? <laughs> yeah, pwede, pwede. Explicit naman to. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ayun. <laughs> Not giving a fuck. Kasi, kasi feeling ko parang kailangan ko na ata ng self-help. Eh, self-help? <laughs> self-help book. Kailangan din yun, yung self-help. <laughs> ah, yeah, true. Kailangan din yun. Kailangan yun parang feeling ko for mental mental health dahil mm-hmm. sa pandemic. And also, pag-graduate na ako, quarter life crisis. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, ganun. Parang feeling ko kailangan na naman ganito. And also, syempre, I post sa social media rin. Mm-hmm. And minsan, di mo maiwasan may mga bad comments ka ma- yeah. matatanggap or of kaya course. people questioning your ability, questioning your knowledge. Yeah. You know? Or you so, compare yourself rin sa others din. Diba? Yeah, isa rin yun. Lalo na yung mga yung ibang tao na, na, na una ka nag-graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw, nandito na nag-struggle ka pa rin sa bahay. Nag-aaral. Yeah. Gets naman. Gets Ayun. naman. That's nice. I mean, nice to know that you're keeping yourself busy. And uh, ang ganda rin yung mga TikToks mo. Ha? Like, you were able to break down yung mga different year um, courses and what to expect on those courses. Galing. Tapos may sayaw pa. So, <laughs> double guami. <laughs> Parang gusto ko yung videos na may sayaw. Lalo na kasi pa, kailangan on-trend, di ba, sa TikTok. Mm-hmm. Parang it's a big thing na maging on-trend. So, I guess doon ko insert yung pagsayaw-sayaw ko. <laughs> naging, da- naging dancer bigla. <laughs> have you have you danced ba before na parang dan- dance troupe or ngayon lang talaga? Actually, ano, I do dance kahit high mm-hmm. school and also pag kwari may mga cheer dance competition sa vet med. Mag- wow. Masali ako, pero... In, matagal na yun. <laughs> I'm quite rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Pero it's good stuff. It's good stuff. And uh, the content naman you put out is good. So, I mean, the dance is extra lang. Extra sauce lang. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Worth it, palay pagsayaw ko. Oh, worth it. Keep up the good work. Um, but yeah, nice to know you're, that you're doing well, that you're reading the TikToks, and uh, why don't we head over to the meat of the show? So, as I mentioned earlier, Ara has easily become the most influential vet student in the Philippines. From creating daily vlogs about student life in UPLB, Ara has transitioned into making educational content about the veterinary profession. She discusses lots of hot topics in the veterinary field, such as defining parvo, debunking rabies myths, and scientifically explaining if certain supplements are actually beneficial or harmful for your dog. I found it really awesome that she was creating content for fellas like me who were interested in getting into the veterinary space. Oftentimes, the main reason why people back out from becoming a vet is due to misinformation about the profession. It ain't all snuggling with puppies and petting kittens, I'll tell you that. First of all, there's a brutal six years of vet school that you have to endure before even becoming a vet. Then, if you're lucky enough to call yourself one, there's tons of poop, blood, screaming, scratching, biting, basically all of your senses being overwhelmed at one moment. Not to mention the hardest part about being a vet, dealing with the reality of mortalities. These are all areas you must be informed about if you are even thinking about getting into the profession. And ARA covers all of it. So it made me think, if future ARA wasn't there to inform her about all of these things, how did she really know if vet med was for her? I want to start our conversation by asking you, when was the moment that you realized that vet med was for you? So, it's a loaded yung question, but mm, I know you have a, I know you have an answer, naman. To be honest, ano to? Parang nagkaroon na ako ng epiphany. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Moment no <laughs> first year proper ako. Tama. First year proper is actually parang third year. Third mm-hmm. year. Oh, parang ganon. Tapos parang I remember the moments ng bata ako na. There was one time na nasa garden ako and then I saw a dead bird. A dead bird in the garden. Tapos, I was around seven years old back then. And syempre, pag bata, initial mong reaction is, yeah, ganun, ayaw mo, lapitan ka. But me, I I wasn't scared. Hindi ako nang dire. Ang ginawa ko, kumuha ko ng walis ting-ting. Pinawawalis lang sa ng mga ito yung dahon. Yun. And then, I didn't poke the bird na parang pinaglaroan. No, what I did, in-inspect ko kung anong laban niya. Uy. As in, I... I Parang inopen ko siya, tapos tinignan ko, tapos I remembered this one part, the sa ibon, vividly, mm. na puno na ng maggots and mm. ano, worms. Tapos ako hindi ako nandidire. I was just fascinated. Tapos ang itsura ko nun, nakasando kasi ako nun, yung sando na sa ilong ko, tapos inuuhog pa ako nun. <laughs> Imagine that! Sobrang bata pa. Tapos wala akong pangin na nababasa na yung sando ko ng uhog ko. Basta pinupok, hindi ko pinupok yung ibon, basta binubuklat ko yung ibon and then I was inspecting it. Tapos, after nun, wala lang, okay. Tapos sinabi ko sa kay mami na meron akong dead bird na nakita sa garden. And then ayun, dun ko na-realize na parang, oh God, was that the sign already? Sabi ko, oh my God, yun na pala yun. Pero kasi before, bata pa lang ako, alam ko na gusto ko maging doktor. But I don't know what kind of doctor talaga. So, ayun. Tapos biglang pumunta sa akin ng vet med. Ayun. Got the idea sa nag apply na UFCAT. Tapos, ayun. Nakapasok ng vet med. Medyo iniisip pa kung para sa vet med ako until I remembered that. Tapos sabi, ah, so yun yung confirmation ko pala. Ever wow. since. So, so ayun. Yeah. Ganda, ganda. And like, not all stories naman have a super like, you know, dramatic parang yeah. effect to it of how you found your path. Pero, it's great. And I kind of have like the same um dilemma that you did now that's why i went to sports science prior to a vet med because i knew i wanted to do medicine i wasn't sure long now whether um human medicine or animal medicine and it's funny that you mentioned actually this bird because i actually had an experience measure similar to that um mm-hmm. what happened was i was uh, maybe sure about that age also but i had a goldfish because that died tapos when he died i was supposed to bury it tapos my shovel mm-hmm. na ako. And then parang naisip ko before I bury it, what if I like, you know, see what's inside? Because I've always wondered, okay. what's inside ba? And then, yun, parang ginawa kong sushi na ewan. Pero I, I, was, I looked in... <laughs> well, wala kasi, but yeah. But then I, I opened it up and well, I was just intrigued that like, you know, the vertebrae and um, just looking mm-hmm. at the gills and all of that. And yeah, it, 
I, I super get what you mean. But what what about the bird like fascinated you na that you wanted to check it out? Was do you remember like a specific part of the bird or wala like Ang, ang tanda ko lang is yung part na minamagots doon sa bird. <laughs> And it's mad bad na. Pero wala. Gusto ko lang makita yung loob. Like, I just wanted to see yung laman loob ng ibon. Like, ano meron? Parang ganon. Just a curious kid. Mm-hmm. Tapos ayun, nagkatanong may dead bird. So, tinignan ko na lang. <laughs> <laughs> ano sinabi ng mga kaibigan mo? Nung ano? Ako na wala. Wala sila nun. Ako lang mag-isa sa garden. Ah, okay, okay. As in, I had my, mom- my own moment that oh, time. Man. Tapos, <laughs> Saka ko lang kinuwento kay mami after ko inspectionin yung ibon. Ayun, <laughs> na-share ko sa kanya. <laughs> Tapos sabi niya? Wala naman. Parang, wala naman. Okay. Wala na. Hindi naman siya parang na, na, nag-panic na naghawak ako ng ibon. Ganun. Parang, oh, okay, ganun. Curious kid, ganun. <laughs> so, wala naman siya sa shadow say. That's really cute. And, you know, since the, like since that moment, it... um. I guess it kind of acted as a catalyst for you to, you know, mm-hmm. push through in vet med and, you know, I'm sure your dogs being there by your side also gave you more motivation to yes. to pursue and complete uh, vet med. And look at you now, last sem na of your sixth year. <laughs> Love it now, oh girl. Oh my God. my answers. Uh, but Hopefully. it's been a while. So six years. Um, What would you say is your favorite experience in UP, uh, DVM, CVM, or UPLB? whether it's related to school or not to be honest ano sobrang dami na happy moments rin sa sa DVM kasi it made me who I am today as in itong course na to hindi magiging mas strong yung personality ko kung hindi ako nag vet med as in sa sobrang dami kong na experience like for example sa orgs sa mga activities sa paghandle ng tao or even sa pag-aaral lahat ng yun I, I, I can wala akong masabing specific kasi sa sobrang dami na mag- magagandang moments. I don't know, kahit na mahirap, alam mo yun, it just keeps you going yung mga moments na yun. Mm-hmm. Pero I guess yung pinaka, ano, pinaka... Or kahit memorable, di ba? Memorable, yung pag, nagpa- tata, pag nagpa-party. Uy, you know. <laughs> bakit, bakit? Bet- Batman students, we study hard, but we party harder. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, tanda ko, tanda ko, we have this certain organization, pseudo organization, na nabubuo lang kapag may parties. Like, ang, ang pangalan ng org namin, kami-kami lang gumawa nila yun. Mm. Parang CVM, which stands for College of Virgin Medical Students. <laughs> <laughs> Gago! Nabubuo lang siya kapag may party. Kasi kapag, ano, pagka, kung ngari, isang org kayo, like, 20-something, hmm. parang may discount sa ticket ng party. O, okay. And also, kung may mga freebies, like, free drink or liquor, ganun. Tapos, kami, kabang, yung mga typical party goers na vet med people, sa sobrang dami namin nagtatry mag-party, nakaka-create na kami ng org. And then, pagka nasa party, makikita mo agad, ako, sino yung vet med? Si- siya yung nasa dance floor, yung wild the wild <laughs> and yung life of the party, mga ganun. So, I guess, isa yun sa mga parang masaya and yung hindi mo mare-replace na moments talaga sa vet med. And ngayon, COVID, so hindi mo pwede gawin yun. Sad. Hindi na pwede. Sad. Sayang, na-excite pa naman ako. <laughs> Actually, ma- masaya umatend ng UPLB party. You should try it sometime. I will, for like sure. Once. Maybe one. I mean, who knows when the vaccine is gonna come in? Pero 100%, percent, I'll try. Yeah, yeah. Tapos usually in your parties. Tapos muna vaccinated. Oh, vaccinated. Tapos muna vaccinated. Yeah, kailangan dalhin ng resibo ng vaccination or vaccination card. <laughs> Clean ako, bro. <laughs> pero usually in the parties, um, mga open parties ba yun? or like do you guys do um like parang sa bahay or sa bar? Yeah, open parties. Uh, ang ginagawa kasi sa LB, ang uh, magrerent yan ng resort as in private resort and then palakihan pa kami sa nung private resort na mar rent nung right. kasi madami doon di ba yung mga may slides yeah, pa na ek ek yun na yung para mismong area namin tapos ano yan open for all courses or kung ano man university ka rin basta bumili ka ng ticket so ayan alam ko tanda ko meron pang tag ibang school din na napapadpad doon para lang po party <laughs> ayun iba rin kasi yung crowd sa LB parang asaya lang chill lang lahat parang feel mo lahat kay friends kahit magkakaiba kayo ng degree ganun so ayun masaya lang rin that's <laughs> nice po party madalas <laughs> <laughs> experienced vet na 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, damn, sounds like fun. I'm excited to. I mean, I have five more years there, so sana yeah. naman I may vaccine na by then, and you know, get to meet more different people. Um, for you, who like other than vet med? Because I'm vet med the best. Ano yung ibang course na ano solid din na uh, magkasama? Ibang course, solid. Ah, ko sa party, sa party ba to? Kahit sa party, sa buhay. <laughs> Ikaw bahala. I'm, I'm not sure. Kasi yung mga, yung mga friends ko kalat rin eh. Ay, hindi <laughs> na sila. Yan, parang wala silang specific. Lahat sila na dito ang ketong course. Uh, so parang wala rin. Yung mga friends ko kasi parang merong agri, may chem, mm-hmm. may industrial engineering. So iba-iba rin. Iba-iba talaga. So, Pero yeah, lahat chill rin. yung mga taga-UPLD. Yeah. Ano, parang uh, mga taga-UPLD... They're chill people. Chill na tao. Parang you feel at home sa mga tao. As in, ganun talaga yung feeling. That's nice. Um, Good for me because, like I said, wala akong kilala sa UPLB. So, <laughs> yeah. it'll be like, at least easier to make friends. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, actually, madali lang mag-friends, makipag-friends sa UPLB. Like, yung mga tao, like, easygoing, chill. Pero, matindi yung mga kids. Parang ganun. <laughs> Work hard, party hard talaga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we talked about some of the good moments in UPLB, but for sure there were some low ones. And I wanted to ask you because I need to be prepared as well as I go through okay. this over the next okay. five years. What's the most challenging subject or semester in BMed? Um, all. Orang awat ah. Orang awat ah. Orang awat ah. <laughs> well, uh, it, it depends kasi kung anong strength mo sa, sa vet med. Kore, uh, for example, I, I for one, I really am good in lab. Lab classes and also yung may mga specimen. Kasi visual learner ako. So, mas mabilis sa akin yung mga quality. 30 se- yung mga move system mm-hmm. na type of exams na parang ipapa-identify sa yung structure na to and then nakatime ka for a minute or kaya 30 seconds sasagutan mo. Para sa akin, mas madali yun. Compared sa mga lecture exams, yun yung mm. weakness ko kasi by the book siya. Yep. And some profs are talagang very specific and to the to the tiniest detail yeah. sa mismong libro. So, ayun. And also, I, I, ano, it doesn't get it doesn't get any easier kada taon. Every year. You just, level up. You just get stronger Yan. every year. <laughs> Ikaw mismo yung level up. Pero kada year, para mahirap pa rin. Mm-hmm. Pero ang pinaka-peak ng pinaka-challenging talaga is second year proper, which is fourth year vet med, kung saan may encounter mo yung parasitology, microbiology, pathology, mm. surgery, tapos yung, kumbaga yung mga may problems na. Kasi pag yeah. first year, first year proper, more on yung natural state or yeah, normal state ng animal, also, diba? Yeah, yeah. concepts, gano'n. Eh dito, pagdating mo sa second year, yung dito na ipapakita sa'yo lahat ng sakit na pwede ma-encounter. Eh, animals, hello! Like, yeah, ten dami. times more. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang dami, lalo na pag yung exams, hindi mo maiwasan na may five exams ka in a week or kaya mag-overlap in a day na parang tatlong exams mo and big exams yan, kuwari para, patho, o kaya micro, magkakasabay. Hmm, and then to the point na talagang May time rin na hindi ako nakaka-uwi ng a month or more than a month. Eh, malapit lang ako. I'm from Santa Rosa kasi. And oh, then LB. So, di ba malapit lang yun? Yeah. Laguna pareho. Mm-hmm. Pero may time na talaga hindi ako nakaka-uwi ng more than a month kasi kailangan ko mag-aral at sunod-sunod na exams. Nung time nung second year proper. And also, syempre, yung pinaka-low is yung u- 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 uulit ka ng subject. Oh, As in, sure. u- uulit ka ng subject and madedelay ka. Ayun. <laughs> yung pinaka lowest of low, madedelay ka and uulit ng subject. Yeah, for sure. Pero, Especially kung ano, parang uh, pre-rec siya sa mga susunod yes, na subjects. Oh. Sakit. Kasi one subject can put you back like an entire SEM, no? No, not a SEM. A year. A year? Oof. Yeah, all, sub- all, all subjects sa vet med. Yung mga major subjects a year agad. Oh which God. is sad. Yeah. Ah, kasi <laughs> parang, seasonal din, di ba? Parang they don't always yeah. offer it every semester. Yeah, oo. Lahat kasi ng subjects sa vet med, seasonal. Hindi nila in-offer every sem. So, one year ka ka agad delayed. Kaya mabigat oh ma-delay. Pero, 
pag once na, na delay ka, okay lang yun, kaya mo pa naman bumawi. And mas bababa yung load mo, kahit pa paano, may konting space to breathe ka yeah. and to chill. Pero yun, kung kaya mo naman na maging on time, then no problem, go lang, galing mo doon. <laughs> of course. Magawa mo. Yeah. Props to you, di ba? And I mean, yeah. siguro getting delayed is not the worst thing. Kasi, di ba, compared to human med, after you graduate mm-hmm. the four years, which is after your um um your first degree, then there's ano mga residency mga mm-hmm. like um and dami pang ek ek pa after oh, so <laughs> after human after, after med school basically basically and dami pang extra shit na kailangan mong gawin but then in vet the ba like after you take the licensure more or less vet ka na or um can yes, you shed some light vet ka na mm-hmm. bale parang after nung di ba six years vet med and then after that mag review ka after review mag uh, magbo-boards ka and then after nun license ka na license veterinarian ka na pwede ka na mag-practice so ayun na mm. you are free from education edu- edu- <laughs> yeah. hindi naman no, from school pero you still learn kasi, yeah, yeah. kasi of course. maraming updates and so oh, pero at least makakasualdo ka na after, after like your 6th year <laughs> basically <Uh-oh>. basically <laughs> basically oh my God. six year 6 year or or more or more <laughs> or more <laughs> Baka naman magna. Magna nine years. <laughs> oh, uy, oh. alam mo. Mar- marami rin ganyan sa vet med. Oh so... my God. <laughs> yeah. Hindi <laughs> naman sa sinasabi kong, ano, parang, hindi naman sa nananakot. Hindi siya yung, well, medyo common na maraming delayed. <laughs> As in, parang sa isang batch, yung batch ata namin, um, on time, is, I'm not sure kung nasa 20 na lang, pero ang, yung dami namin as a batch is around 80 something or mm. 60 ganun so imagine that less than 50% ang on time oh my god yeah. so mabigat yeah, na talaga take, ma- mabigat yeah. marami talaga na delay so kung ma-delay ka marami ka nang kakaramdam <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> ganun <laughs> madaming kadama pero kung kaya mo maging on time i-push mo kasi mas maganda rin naman maging on time of course yeah. of course Madami rin bang ano tao na nagde-drop out sa vet med or wala masha. Usually everybody finishes. Ang dami rin. Like dami rin. tanda ko nung first year proper ako, kami, yung batch namin, batch 13, oh 2013. Oh, sinabi ko na yung batch ko, my god, Uy, na pa reveal bigla. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ayun, batch 13, parang nasa 100 plus kami na batch 13. Tapos ngayon, Parang less than a 50 na ata. Oh, wow. Ganun. Or sobrang, sobrang na filter out talaga. There was one picture rin na lumabas sa FB ko. Yung mga dati ko nakagrupo sa Fisho 1, which which is a subject nung first year proper kami, ako na lang yung natitirang nag-aaral. Yung iba doon, nag-drop out. Or yung iba doon, nag-transfer na, hindi na nagtuloy. Ganun. Nagulat ako. And yung iba doon parang mas na-delay pa. So sabi ko, shucks, gano'n. So totoo talaga yung sinasabi niya. Talagang marami pang madedelay. Parang hindi mo rin masabi talaga. Mm. Kung matem na motiba. Parang gano'n. <laughs> gets, gets. Survival of the fittest talaga doon. Eh. Diba? Mm-mm. Pero at least like, you know, the way that I like to look at it, especially when I tell my friends na, syempre, nag-graduate na ako. Oh, tapos they say also like, uy, ba't ka mag vet med? You can like start working na, um, you could get into sports science or all of this. But then, the way that I think about it is these years uh, where I'll be studying, parang, nag, parang ano, startup job na rin in an office. Diba, first five years, you're gonna have to work super hard to get to the next level, diba? And then that's the only time you'll start, you know, making good, like, decent income and all of that, mm-hmm. being more secure. So, para sa akin, ganyan din. So, like, the first couple of first five years, I mean, I'm just gonna butt, grind my ass off every single year. And then, by the end of it, I mean, hopefully, if on time, then, um, <laughs> on time, then, you know, it's the same. Like, in five years, we're still both gonna be at least where we're, where we wanna be. So, that's, that's, yeah, that's how I look at it. So, thank you so much for that. Um, at least I know now na talagang kailangan mapasahan lahat ng subjects every single time because one yeah. subject can put you back a year. I also, another thing, pataas na pataas yung parang exemption or yung grade sa mm-hmm. VetMed. Kasi parang pag once na nasa general subjects ka, di ba parang passing is around 60, 63 mm-hmm. na parang ganun. Sa VetMed, 70. Oh, 70. The proper. And also, uh, iba pa, 70, kuwari, first year proper and second year proper, 70. 
Pero pagdating mo ng junior clinician, which is which is third year proper, ang tataas pa yung standard doon. Kasi parang, pwede ka kasi ma-exempt sa mga final exams. Yung mga first year proper, second year proper, 70, pwede exempted ka na nun. Pero pagdating mo ng junior clinician, 80 dapat. Oh para ma-exempt ka. <laughs> which is, ang oh oh <laughs> so That's so high. As in, as in, parang, ako, honestly, suki ako ng mga final exam. <laughs> Kasi mahirap talaga. Tapos ang 70 is yung ano, passing pa rin. Pero ayun, ang taas, diba? 80. <laughs> yeah, taas. Taas nga yung 80. As in, kahit high school, hindi naman 80. 75 man lang. Pero, well. Yeah. Oh my God. But, so, I ayun, mean, kaya challenging pa rin. Always challenging. But, I mean, at least, you know, having this conversation, mas ma-mentally prepare na ako for what's to come. <laughs> yes, oh. Uh... All right, so we'll take a quick break, and uh, when we get back, we'll start talking about you know her career as a content creator and um, more of the different things that she puts out. Uh, but first, Pstui, you, yeah, you, the one there making your morning coffee or getting your daily exercise in. Don't you think that it's time for that new French press or a new set of workout clothes? Don't you feel like you deserve something fresh, something exciting? Because I sure do. So why don't you hop onto Shopee to avail of the non-stop sales that have been going on for as long as one Ponce and Rile has been alive, which is a really long time. Everything from coffee paraphernalia to home workout equipment. We've got it all for you. And the best part is, I was lucky enough to partner up with Shopee to keep you updated with all of the hottest sales. But wait, 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 wait. Before you skip this ad, let me be real with y'all. As you know, I'm a broke full-time vet student and I do this podcast to keep you, my friends and family, informed about the hot topics here in the PH and the industry leaders involved with them. The main reason I started this podcast was to educate and entertain people and I hope you're learning something new in this episode. So if you enjoy this podcast, it would mean the world to me if you used my Shopee link to keep these episodes coming. All you have to do is to check the description down below or the tap link in my bio to access my personal link. If you're anyone like me, you've probably got tons of items in your cart. So go to Shopee, treat yourself with something new, and support this podcast. Like the beautiful and unwithering Chris Aquino once said, Shop na! And we're back. So to start off the second half of the show, I want to ask you, what made you want to start a career as a content creator? So you're pre- pretty much the only person I know that is a vet student in the Philippines and also creates content of, of, of veterinary medicine. So like, what was that like? What made you want to begin? Actually, yung pagiging content, content creator, ko, I didn't consider it as a career. Talaga. It, it was just a simple hobby. Like, Kasi nung time na naabutan ko yung academic shift, which is, uh, ano year yun? 2014 ata. Yeah, 2014. Yung, yung nag-four months vacation kami before the su- sumunod na school year. That was the time I decided to upload videos sa channel ko. Pero meron ako YouTube channel back, way back 2013. Hmm. Tapos, nag-upload ako by 2014. And then I just uploaded lifestyle videos, makeup videos, mga ganon. Like, hmm. parang, Beauty guru. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty guru. <laughs> Makeup guru ano ang level ko noon. Tapos I tried din yung yung language ko noon is English ganon kahit mm-hmm. hindi pa ako super yung parang hindi pa ako confident sa yeah. English ko that time. Mm-hmm. And then eventually nag ano na lang siya nag grow na lang. And then I met other creators ganon. And then by 2017 doon ko napansin na meron pala akong makukuha or makukuha money or monetization dito sa, sa career na to kumbaga mm-hmm. kasi parang doon ako nakuha ng Adobe's, uh, Adobe Studios and then mm-hmm. nakakakuha na ako ng onting amount of money lang naman and then I I did like mukbang videos yung mga mga lifestyle talaga pero yeah. I vlogged about my life as a student kasi yung content na yun for me no 2017 it was very convenient kasi syempre so jandi ako UPLB mm-hmm. vet med so why and not share about it that's what you the time also so it's yeah, easier to parang, document true and yung, yung audiences ko naman are mostly students that time 
So sabi ko, why not share it? Tapos kakaiba, di ba? Pero that time kasi parang hindi pa, hindi pa nagbuboom yung mga ganong klaseng content. Eh. Parang ngayon ngayon pa lang yung mga med student ganyan. Yeah, yeah. Pero hindi ka pa rin makakita masyado ng... <laughs> Oo, oh, nung karantin. Boom tapos, talaga. True. Pero hindi ka pa makakita ng vet student talaga na nagbablog about it. So tinuloy-tuloy ko lang. And then eventually, ano yung nag-grow, nag-hit ako ng 100k. And then, doon ako nag-start na parang, ano ba talagang purpose ko sa channel na to? Anong gusto ko mangyari sa channel na to? And then, I I I decided na parang, feeling ko yung path ko as a content creator, syempre may platform na ako, why not put it into good use from lifestyle? Well, maglalagay pa rin naman ako lifestyle kasi mm-hmm. syempre, I'm still a girl. I do yeah. girly stuff and lifestyle stuff. <laughs> and you enjoy it, and, so that's important. Yeah, true. Tapos, I, why not share things about vet med? Not just as not as a student, but as a licensed uh, vet. Na, parang ganun. Kung baga parang to help for parents. Kasi na-realize ko rin habang nag-aaral ko ako, ang daming mga misinformation na nakikita sa internet. Like, yung mga groups, sobrang misinformed ng mga tao, ng mm-hmm. mga for parents about kung anong gagawin. Yung iba agad nag nagpe-prescribe agad ng ga- oh, gamot. Man. Giniagawa mo! Which is not FDA approved. Which is yeah. sad. Kasi parang, parang dun, the bar is so low for for parents na parang, isipin mo, magsisettle ka na lang sa gantong gamot para lang uh, gumaling yung pet mo and then hindi ka pa sure kung talagang, ano siya, talagang safe for your, for your dog right. or cat. Basta lang kasi, ang iniisip pa nila, yung mga vets are parang mukhang pera lang daw which is so not true. Yeah. Kung mukhang pera kami, sana hindi ito yung career namin. Oh. <laughs> Kasi, Dude. to be yeah. honest, ang mga vets naman, hindi super laki ang sweldo eh. Yeah. Lalo na, di ba? Compared uh, to doctors. It's more on the passion. Yeah, compared mm-hmm. to doctors, human doctors. Kaya sabi ko, sobrang daming misinformed and also yung mga, inf- yung limited lang information about animals sa internet. So, I I thought na, why not dwell into that? Kasi feeling mm-hmm. ko, ang laki pa ng gap sa Philippines lalo ha, ang laki pa ng gap natin for about pet health, animal health. So why not, yun, doon na akong pumunta. Lalo na pag naging lesensyado na, di ba? Parang mas may kaya ako magsalita yeah. about this. Well, lumakas na rin loob ko magsalita about yung mga animals or pet health. Kasi kahit hindi naman lesensyado, nakikinig sila eh. Di ba? I mean, yeah. And ni pa nga, ni pa nga nagka-counter-check yung iba. Parang basta lang makita na post na ganito, paniniwalaan agad. So, ayun, sabi ko, why not teach my viewers or share, educate my viewers and teach them how to be critical thinkers mm-hmm. as as someone who uses the internet and soft med madalas, yeah. 90% of the time, <laughs> lalo na ngayon, vacation kasi. Yeah. So, ayun. I mean, parang yun yung ultimate goal, goal ko ngayon. So, yeah. kaya nag-iisip ako ng ways na kung paano to reach out other people, gano'n. No, and so, I, so, I agree yeah. with you 100% because we are very behind pa compared to other countries in terms mm, of the true, basic true. Uh, pet care because, well, I've, we're still a developing country and I'm, it's yes. not really an, an excuse, especially now since we have the internet, but I do feel like it's super valuable to inform people mm-hmm. on, um, you know, the basic pet care um that you should like know for your for for your fur animals because especially now ngayon quarantine and dami ko ng kaibigan na bumibili ng aso kasi lagi kang nasa bahay di ba so and it, sometimes the groups can be so misleading eh yung mga who's your pupper minsan they try to give um advice feeling vet and then sobrang mali kasi wala ginugol lang nila or sinabi ng tita yes. ng kaibigan ng friend ko or something like that na, <laughs> Diba? Yung source nila mga ganun. Yeah, parang super <laughs> shady. I don't expect everyone to like go on um you know on scientific literatures to examine how yeah, like, the, the yeah. right things. So that's why I think it's perfect nga that you're doing this because you know you deliver it in a fun way kay TikTok habang sumasayaw, you know. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's fun yeah. pero like you're still teaching them these things and uh, that's why I think it's also really valuable for me also learning more about my pets and finding more content creators for um animal health in general and animal mm-hmm. education ed- educators because we really should be um learning a lot more about th- these things especially because animals are so crucial in our lives mm-hmm, true lalo na ang dami ko nakikita sa internet na parang 
uh, mga anong gamot sa ganito ganyan. And then makikita mo yung mga nag-post. Malakas ma- ang loob mag-post are people who are not licensed vets talaga. Mm-hmm. Tapos pag napanood mo yung video, it's disappointing kasi sobrang misleading. And then para silang nagsha-shotgun effect ng gamot sa animal, which is sad. Kasi mm-hmm. isipin mo yung health ng animal ay at risk. Kaya nga gumagawa ng tests ang mga vets or doctors is para ma-determine the specific kind of medicine or treatment para sa sakit niya. Hindi tayo yung nagsha-shotgun effect. Iba kasi ganun eh. And also... Grabe na, ang daming nakaka-stress na mga bagay-bagay sa internet na minsan parang ako na overwhelm na na parang gusto kong sabihin sa kanila lahat ng totoo pero alam mo hindi hindi pa kayo ng powers ko kasi hindi pa ako license and also yeah. student pa lang. So, yeah. ayun. Well, that's so, what okay, you're okay, reading. Subtle yeah. art of not giving a fuck kasi sometimes you just have to <laughs> Yeah, true. May, may mga haters ka talaga and that's gonna come with being a content creator pero as long yeah. as you stick to your craft and you know, Um, you know naman what you're doing. And these people, yung mga mm-hmm. assuming lang, mga keyboard warriors lang yun. So, wag kang <laughs> mag-a... Yung mga anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um, we talked a little bit about um, the importance of ba- basic pet care and pet myths. Um, what, what, what would you say is like the most common pet myth that you hear on like on the reg? Mm, number one, I guess, yung sa rabies. Na parang... Mas malakas daw ang rabies sa uh, tuta. <laughs> Which is no, kasi no. Ano, ako, alam ko yung saying niya yung kasi sinasabi rin niya na matatanda. Like parang, "Uy, wag ka magpakunat sa tuta kasi malakas ang rabies niyan." Gaganon sila. Or, yeah. "Uy, yung pusa daw mas malakas ang rabies." Ganon. <laughs> Pero nito nito lang parang mas na-educate, mas na-educate ako dahil sa Batman na para It's a virus na makukuha lang naman to ng pets kapag nahawa sila mm-hmm. ang rabies from from an animal na infected pag nakagat sila then saka sila magkaka-rabies. Yeah. And then yung mom ko nga yun, nung na-share ko nga yun, na-share ko yung ay, yung ano yung fact na yun sabi niya saka rin daw siya na-enlighten kasi nga yung mga yung mga olden days or olden yeah. paniniwala yeah. paniniwala ng mga tao ganun. So isa yun sa pinaka common misconception talaga. Yeah. Like And also yung the- Parang, parang COVID lang yan, di ba? Like, if the dog yeah. doesn't have... If the person doesn't have COVID, then he, he can't infect you. So, the same goes with rabies. Yeah. Kung wala namang aso na in the area na naka-rabies or kahit may rabies yun, basta hindi kumagat, di ba? Parang ganun ba yun? Or I'm actually not sure. <laughs> well, basta ano, through, through bites. Through, through animal bites, bites diba? siya. It has to enter the, kasi, the blood system. Usually kasi to, ang mga tao, ay, yung mga animals na na, na infect na rabies, sila yung mga gala yung mga nasa labas and then nagkataon hindi nila alam meron pala doon sa kabilang state positive pala for rabies hmm. eh nakagat bigla tong yeah. pet nila na pagalagala so doon nagsisimula yeah yeah that's why you keep your pets indoors um kahit kala mo also, vaccinate them vaccinate them yan, yan, yan talaga yung first vaccinate them bring them to a freaking pet guys them. come on I mean kung <laughs> pwede mong magbayad ng KBBQ for 1K kaya rin ng ano vet vet consultation for one thing na ba di ba I mean once a year lang to and then KBBQ every month na yun kahit one one month sige na actually sa rin yun yung mga tao rin sa sabi nila ano wala daw pera for vet we're we're it's sad to hear that kasi as a pet owner kailang responsible ka rin sa medical bills ng animal pero hindi naman kasi natin masabi yung yung situation ng owner kung paano niya na-obtain yung animal. Baka of rescue course. lang kasi, mm-hmm. ganun. And also, baka adopted lang, ganun. Para yun, kaya marami na nagko- nag- nagko-consult sa FB, University, mm-hmm. and right. Google, ganun. And home remedies daw, which are, ewan ko, ang daming chismis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kasi ang dami rin ang tao na they're not actually ready to buy an animal. Like, parang, They don't. Iba, they don't see the responsibility behind it. I mean, these are living, breathing things. There, it's like it's like caring for another person. Like if you're gonna have a child, mm-hmm. you have to get be ready to pay all the medical bills, yung mga tuition and stuff like that. Yung pets mm-hmm. kanan din. You have to pay for the medical care. You have to buy food, yung mga toys, entertainment, mga ganon. So yeah, that's why I think it's great nga that went from the se- really serious. Um, scientific facts like rabies and parvo you're educating people mm-hmm. but also from the basic care yung mga I, i saw you posted the video yung parang like last week yung mga 
pet essentials for um, yeah 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 so it's, animals. it's great it's great and uh, i can see that you've come a long way um literally watch your videos my mga videos ka nagbo break down then and i mean mm, nandito yeah. ka na six year you know <laughs> you're almost there almost at the finish line so almost yeah. na almost na so as you heard ara keeps it a hundred when it comes to all of her content she'll share the happy moments in vet school such as passing an exam hanging out with friends and interacting with animals but also the lowest lows about being a vet student, such as breaking down after a failure and even how she got delayed in vet school. As she finishes her last semester in vet school, it's safe to say that Ara has been through it all. So for the sake of interested kids and frosh meat like me, I decided to ask her what advice she could give to all aspiring veterinarians out there. So to end the podcast, uh, I want to ask you one last question, and this will be very helpful for myself as well. And it is, if there was one piece of advice that you could tell your freshy self, what would it be? Actually, it's not one piece. Parang so marami. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang. For mga my... bullets, mga bullets. Let's hear it. All I want to say is thank you to my old self. Ang lakas na loob niyang simulan yung mga bagay na to kung hindi niya yung sinimulan like the YouTube channel and everything, hindi ito mangyayari lahat. And also, everything will be okay kahit na may mga plano kang hindi natupad na parang gusto mo gento pero hindi nabigay sa'yo. Everything will be, will, will, will be okay and also it will fall into place in God's time. Mga wow. ganun. Yeah. And, <laughs> and <laughs> ano, parang gusto ko lang siya bigyan ng tight hug na parang I'm so proud of you. Kasi yeah. ang dami mo nalagpasong, girl. Yes. Gusto ko sabihin gano'n. Like parang nakaka-proud yung mga pinagdaanan mo. Hindi, hindi biro. Pero ayun, looking back trend and also yung mga videos ko na parang umiiyak and everything. Oh my God. Parang, yeah. So proud of you, girl. Yeah. Malapit na. Onti na lang. Mm-hmm. Parang gano'n. That's nice. That's super nice. And it's always nice to reflect on how far you've, you've come, di ba? Like all of the mm-hmm. challenges, all the hurdles na akala mo Wala na talaga after this, but you seem to power through, and it's great that you know um, to have these moments of reflections to thank yourself also for the work that you've done. But what about for freshies, naman na study tip? Like if there was one study tip that you learned throughout your years in vet med, what was the most valuable tip, or f- whether whether for studying or for taking exams, passing classes, but the mm-hmm. ac- acads related. Ang sa akin is um. Know your strengths and weaknesses. As in, yun talaga yung biggest struggle for me kasi medyo nahirapan pa ako. Kasi dun magde-depend rin kung paano ka magpo-perform sa class na yun. For example kasi, um, ako, for, ako kasi mahina ako sa true or false na type of exam. <laughs> and then meron kong, et, et yung subject kong physiology, puro true or false yung binibigay ng exam. <laughs> and, <laughs> Nakailang takes ako doon. Fisho 1, twice. Fisho 2, thrice. Fisho 3, twice. Isipin mo na lang. Oh, yeah. Diba? Parang nag-PhD <laughs> and master na ako sa Fisho. Pero ayun, parang kahit na bumagsak ka, huwag kang mag-give up. Basta, ano, you learn how to stand up again. And also, alamin mo kung saan ka nagkamali. Learn from that. And then, move on. And also, huwag kayo masyadong ma-overwhelm sa mga bagay-bagay, sa mga, sa load. As in, kasi hindi mo talaga maiiwasan na parang shit, ang dami. Mapapagano ka na lang. Lalo na pag nilista mo yung, yung, yung schedule mm-hmm. and sunod-sunod yung exams, take one exam at a time. Kahit na sabihin na five exams ka a week, one exam at a time, yun muna, isipin mo muna yung, yung kinabukasan na exam. And then after that, move on ka na. Huwag muna mo isipin ko ang result nun. Then aral ulit. <laughs> sumunod na exam. And ano, Ah, uh, ano pa ba? Ah, ito, ito. Importante ito. Mm. Maganda na mag-form kayo ng group in taking notes. Mm. Kasi... Para systemized. Yeah, systemized. Na parang meron isa nagre-record ng pwede audio, patago, ganon. <laughs> Pero meron isa nagre-record ng may nagpipicture, may nagta-type. And mga ganon. Kasi mas maganda mag-teamwork. Kasi hindi talaga kaya ng isang tao yan. Meron at meron ka mamimiss na information and mas maganda magtulungan kayo pagdating sa ano sa pagta-type ng notes ganun kasi in the end magagamit niyo rin yung sa finals ganun and also ito to to oh my god ang dami okay lang 
super useful for me. So let's go. Let's do it. Lang. <laughs> G lang. Yung mga profs, minsan aralin nyo rin yung kung paano sila magbigay ng exam. Mm. Kasi parang, minsan may mga kanya-kanyang style sila. Pag nag-gets mo yung style nila, kahit pa paano, mapipredict mo na ano yung pwede nila ilabas na tanong. Mm. Ganun. Kasi parang, you need, to stu- you need to study smart. Parang ganun. Yeah. To pass a subject, ganun rin. Kasi, eh, iba-iba kasi, yun yung mahirap lang sa mga ano sa vetment. Iba-iba yung prof kada subject. Merong isang subject na apat yung prof mo, iba-iba pa yung style yeah. nila. Nagpapalit so, like every module, mga ganun. Oo, and also, kung kaya, ang dami ko sinasabi, and also, pwede ka na mag ng water. <laughs> no, okay lang. I'm super interested. <laughs> Tapos, ano yan yung, kung meron kang mapagtatanungan kung paano magpa-exam si gantong prof, maganda it's a big help kasi para may overview ka na na paano mag- mahilig siya sa identification, ganun, mahilig siya sa uh, multiple choice, at least may idea ka na kung paano siya magtatanong. Mga ganun. Yeah, so you can also practice on how to test yourself, di ba, before the exam. Mm-hmm. Yung, yun. what, what types of questions. But yeah, very helpful tips. At least I know na, okay, so um, find a study group, and then compartmentalize. <laughs> yeah, study group. Yeah, yeah. Compartmentalize, take one exam at a time, and watch out for fisio, no? <laughs> 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 Parang, yan, yan yung nakuha ko, eh, yung fisio. Um, <laughs> fisio, one, two, three, kahit ano, basta, mahirap yan. <laughs> Totoo. Ay, ay, ayaw ko, parang weakness ko kasi yung fisio. Iba-iba naman tayo ng weakness. Pero, ayaw ko, oh, nahirapan talaga ko sa kanya. Lalo <laughs> about renal physiology. Oh, <laughs> kidney, sa kidney liver, diba? Yeah, hirap na hirap ako doon. Hirap na hirap ako doon. Ooh, kasi puro hormones yun, diba? More like, ano, yung pathways, tapos yung uh, mga sodium, potassium, saan lumalabas, saan pumapasok yung protein, kung lalabas ba doon, pag lukta yun, mga ganun, no? specific. Tapos sa may halong org chem pa yun, no? Ano, um, yung org chem, di ba? May mga... Medyo, may mga positive, negative, pero, pero may experience pa rin. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's save it for that na lang. Or, um, But yeah, so I want to wrap up the pod by saying thank you again for being on the show. Honestly, had so much fun talking with you, meeting you, and learning so much about VetMed because I'm a freshie, still very naive, you know, thinking that everything's... <laughs> thinking of honors pa, pero feeling ko, ah, saan yan? Uh, <laughs> but before I go, um, now would be a perfect time for you to plug in where people can find you or the work that you do. Okay, ayan. So, shameless plug. You can actually watch my videos on YouTube. It's Ara Vertucio, A-R-A-H-V-I-R-T-U-C-I-O. And also, pwede nyo rin ako i-follow sa other social medias ko like TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Ara Vertucio, A-R-A-H-V-I-R-T-U-C-I-O. Yan, spelling B. <laughs> yeah. Kasi nagkakama- maraming nagkakamali sa name ko eh. Talaga? Yeah, yung walang H, ganun. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. But, yan, mga vetches, alam niya. Yeah. Where to find, where to find Ara. Um, and I guess that about does it. So, I want to thank you all listeners for tuning in to another episode of the Rockets Modern Life Podcast. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to share with hashtag RML Podcast and hit that follow on Spotify, Facebook, and Instagram so that you never miss an episode. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, vetches. Ha <laughs> ha